Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another uh, classic character video. I know you guys were begging me to create an updated video uh, since Melina, Rain, and Rambo came out. But unfortunately, I'm only able to make a video on Rambo for today. Uh, because for some reason, Melina and Rain do not have their classic outfits available at the time being. Uh, as you can see, Rain doesn't have his, and Melina... She does not have hers anywhere just yet. So... Uh, as soon as those come out, I will be sure uh, to update you and create videos for classic Melina and Rain. But anyway, today's focus is going to be on John Rambo. And each of my variations, except for my main one right here, is based off of one of his appearances from the films. So I'm gonna start off with Rambo First Blood Part 2. And here's how you make it. So, for the headband, I used the Forged in Blood headband. This is the only red headband you can get uh, out of any of them, except for Born a Soldier. This is the one I would use, uh, but I just don't have it yet. So, for now, I'm just gonna have to use Forged in Blood. For his knife, I just used the knife that you get at the beginning, uh, the Amando knife. That's his, uh, that's his iconic knife. He had, he used this all the way up until Rambo 4, uh, and then in that movie he threw his knife into a burning boat and got rid of it that way, so this is the knife you want to use. And for the bow, it really doesn't matter. I just, I thought I'd give him a very simple a uh, thin looking bow, even though this one right here would probably be the one that he used. But um, you can use any bow, it really doesn't matter. If you want to go for true 100% authenticity, go for this bow. But if you don't care about that, uh, you can pick any bow you want. For a skin, I did the uh, the Taciturn Warrior. This is straight out of Rambo First Blood when he's shirtless. The only difference is he has the quiver with the sash going around him. But um, we can't get rid of that, so this is the closest that we're gonna, we're gonna get. As you can see, he has the... With this skin, his knife is silver. In other skins, his knife may be a bronze or even like a greenish color, and he has his jade necklace. If you pick a different skin, this necklace has a chance to change colors. Uh, sometimes it can be blue, yellow, or red. So if you want the true, authentic skin, choose that one right there. And then uh, the intros, it, it you can pick any. He, he's done all of these poses in all of his movies. Uh, just the one I went for was the Ready for War intro. And then his outro, I did the guns blazing because this is what he did in Rambo First Blood Part 2. If you want, you could also do Mission Accomplished, because immediately, in the, in the film, immediately after uh, he has that scene where he's firing his gun and screaming and uh, screaming, he finds the guy he was hunting down and he does this. He does this exact pose. Mission accomplished. So you can pick either or. It doesn't matter at all. You could pick the bow hunter because he does this in one of his films as well. I, I believe it was part three, but I could be wrong. And um, this helicopter, it's this scene with the helicopter in front of the sun, it's just like so iconic. 
So you can you can literally pick any any intro and outro for those, and I'll try not to cover them any further, just to uh, avoid repetition. Now for Rambo Three, uh, just keep everything the exact same. Uh, just keep the home front headband. Keep the same knife as before. Uh, the bow is up to you. Um, you probably should use the default bow, but again, it's all up to personal preference. Yeah, intros, outros, same thing. Keep uh, keep the default skin. It's called First Blood. Just keep this skin. Don't change it at all because it could mess up some of the coloring of his uh, of his headband or knife. So just keep everything basic, and that's Rambo 3 for you. Now for his poncho look. Uh, in Rambo First Blood, he wears a poncho. Uh, kind of made out of uh, like a leather or cloth material like this. If you want full on authenticity, choose the airborne skin. This is ripped straight from the movies. He has the jeans on, the brown tunic, just the brown everything. However, uh, my, I wanted my skin to look uh, like to kind of match. So this one makes his pants blend in better with his pa uh, with his poncho. But uh, if you want to create his outfit like a one to one recreation from the movie choose the airborne skin. His headband, I chose the Scarred by War headband because in that movie he, when he wears the poncho, uh, he, he rips off a piece of it and makes that into his headband. So you want to use any type of brown colored uh, headband that looks like it could uh, be a part of his outfit. I think let me see. I think battle lines might be a little bit better, but it, it doesn't matter at all. Just p pick any plain headband that's brown or matches the same exact color as the poncho and you should be good. Let me see if home front. Yeah, even home front would work or fog of war, in country, any of these would be good for this skin. Actually, I think I think Fog of War might be the better option, so I'm just going to put that on there now. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah. Yeah, that's way better. Yeah, that's like straight leather. Perfect. Uh, the knife... Um, if, you if you want the authenticity, like I said, just... Keep the same knife. If you want, if you want authenticity for every single outfit, just keep the same knife. Don't even think about swapping it out. Just keep it throughout every single outfit, and you're fine. And like I said before, the bows. It doesn't matter which one you pick. Uh, for this skin, the intros and outros, like I said, don't matter. Uh, since this one's more of a stealthy outfit, I chose the blending in intro. It uh, it really suits this outfit really well. And then for his outro, I just did Bow Hunter because you don't want to be using guns when you're in a stealthy outfit. So I just chose that because it makes him look like a hunter, just like hiding in the woods. And for his final skin, this appears at the end of First Blood. It's his warfighter jacket right here. You need to get the one with the blue jeans, the green jacket, and the red undershirt, and then you're golden. You can, um, again, if you want perfect authenticity, you can pick either the Forged in Blood headband or the Home Front headband. Actually, I think the Forged in Blood headband might not... Yeah. They're not as dark red, so... You'll want to use the home front headband for this. And like I said, keep the same knife and the bows. It doesn't matter at all. 
and the intros and outros don't uh, they don't matter at all uh, but yeah that's how you create all of Rambo's uh, iconic on-screen skins uh, thank you guys for watching and I will be sure to get the Molina and Rain videos out as soon as possible it's just we we just gotta wait we literally just have to wait until um, those UMK3 skins come out and Molina's MK2 skin as well we just gotta be patient and wait for those to come out but when they do uh, you'll know that <laughs> you'll know that I will make sure to get those videos out for you so thank you guys for watching and see ya